Now we're going to see the troubleshooting of the Forbes Marshall compressed air drain trap. The troubleshooting is in two parts. First, the trap is not discharging at all. And the second, the trap is leaking. The first part, the trap not discharging at the downstream. To check the same, one has to check the trap installation. See that the trap follows the arrow direction. One is the inlet, second is the outlet. And the third tapping is for the balancing line. The second point one has to check whether the inbuilt strainer is choked. If so, dismantle the trap. Check the screen in the source of light for any kind of blockages. Once this is cleaned, reinstall in the cover casting. The third point one has to check is any kind of blockages between the main valve head and the seat. If so, clean the same. Also check for the correct sizing. The next point one has to check is the balancing line, which is connected back to the air receiver. Ensure that the connecting pipe or the balancing pipe is not isolated and not blocked. The last point one has to check is for float puncture. If the float is punctured, replace the same. The second part is air leakages through the trap. To check the same, check for any kind of foreign particle deposition between the seat and the head. If so, dismantle the float and clean the surface with cotton. If scratches are seen on the seat or the ball, replace the main valve assembly. The last point one has to check is the cover and body gasket joint. Reassemble the trap and check for any kind of leakages and check for the trap performance. This is how one troubleshoots a compressed air drain trap.